friends welcome back so today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is actually gonna be my first Valentine's Day look of the year I am hoping to get like three or so out but maybe more maybe less who knows today's look is actually inspired by Alyssa Marie artistry on Instagram I'm sure all you guys are following her already but she is so talented and I am just always inspired by her work so this is the picture Hello. This is the picture that I actually grabbed my inspiration from. I didn't go as far down on the lower lash line as she did, but oh. But I pretty much used similar products to what she used. She actually paired this with a pink lip, but I decided to go with more of a nude lip just because I don't think that monochromatic ooh, I don't think that monochromatic looks go that well with me and then for valentine's day i feel like pink on pink for me would just be a little bit overwhelming but of course if you guys want to do a pink please do a pink she looked amazing in the pink so i will leave her instagram down below but like i said i'm sure all you guys are already following her you guys already know how i feel about valentine's day and i just really like the way that this came out so if you guys want to know how i got this look then please just keep on watching so first of course apply your chapstick eight hour moisture because that's where it's at so of course for valentine's day you want your makeup to last all night long so i'm starting off with the nivea men sensitive post shave balm and i'm just gonna oh oh okay i'm just gonna go really overboard is what i'm gonna do then i'm going in with mac prep and prime skin refined zone treatment you guys heard me talk about this in my favorites i love it for the t-zone so that's just where i'm gonna apply it For foundation, I'm grabbing one of my favorites. This is the MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation in the color NC44, which is pretty much always my color in MAC foundations. So now with a beauty blender, I just grabbed the rest that was on my hand, and I'm just gonna blend this out, like always. I'm just gonna run off camera and do my brows. My brow routine is always listed down below. Just do your brows however you do your brows and then i'll be right back. okay so brows are done and now i'm gonna prime my eyes using soft ochre pro longwear paint pop by mac and this super random brush from bh cosmetics so for the majority of my eyeshadows i am using the melt cosmetics stacks and i know this looks like super huge but that's because the radioactive one is also in here so the first color i'm taking is from the dark matter stack and this is the color blur and it just looks like this it's just like a super light transition shade and i'm using a morphe g24 blending brush to do this just work this all up in the crease like just all of it the next color i am taking is also from the same stack and this is the color unseen it's just a little bit darker than blur and with the same brush, I'm just going to basically do the exact same thing that I did with the previous color. Now I'm going to grab a MAC 217 brush and I'm going to take the next color, which is Enigma. And I'm just going to go ahead and work this right into like my outer V and into the deepest like part of my crease as well. And yes, this looks crazy unblended, but of course, going back with the G24 brush, no additional product, I'm just gonna blend this out. Just a little bit. I don't really want it to be super noticeable that that color is even there. I just needed it to be a little bit deeper. Before I do my lid shade, I'm gonna take this color by Makeup Forever in the color M530, which is just right here, and it's just a matte eggshell color. I feel like the name of it is actually eggshell too. And I'm using a MAC 242 brush, and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone with this. All right, that's like really, that's intense, but that's okay. Now with that same MAC 242 brush and a little bit of the Smashbox primer water, I'm just gonna spray. So the color I'm using for my lid is by L'Oreal and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in Iced Latte. I used this in a drugstore tutorial like a while back 
And I love this. It's like the most beautiful, inexpensive pigment shadow type situation ever. I'm just gonna place this right on my, wow, that's nice. Right on my lid. And I don't know what she was wearing on her lid, but it looked very similar to this in my opinion. Now I'm grabbing the 217 by MAC just to blend out any harsh edges that we might have created here. Not with any extra color. I didn't put my brush back into that Enigma color. I just went straight to blending. So basically this is what you should have so far. Now I'm going to do my liner. I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. You guys feel free to use... I'm so itchy right here. Feel free to use whatever you want to use, but... This is just my favorite right now, and just do a nice little wing liner. Now for concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Light Neutral. And I'm just basically putting this everywhere. Basically. And of course, blending it out with my Beauty Blender. So now with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, I am going in. And when I say in, like I am in. <laughs> While that's doing its thing, I'm just gonna quickly grab my lashes. These are Mykonos by Lily Lashes and just put some lash glue on them so that it's getting tacky while we do our mascara. So now grabbing my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, I'm just gonna go on my top lashes, of course, because we didn't do anything to the bottom yet. I feel like these lashes are so perfect for this look just because they're so full and flirty and gorgeous and perfect. So now that my lashes are on, just wiping all this bakage Probably should use a bigger brush from now on, but whatever. Too late now, right? Now for the fun part, I'm grabbing MAC Chromographic Pencil in Process Magenta. I do not believe that these are like supposed to be for your eyes. Like I think they're not safe for the eyes or whatever, but I, I'm still gonna use them for the eyes. So if you do this, like you do you, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go into my waterline really really heavily now for the even more exciting part i'm grabbing the melt radioactive stack and i'm grabbing the color radioactive which is just this radioactive pink and i'm gonna take it with which brush am i taking it with the defined crease brush by makeup geek and i'm just gonna go okay i i went like don't go as hard as i just went because <laughs> that's gonna come out like real pink now you can go as low as you want to go. She went extremely low. I'm not going to go as low as she went just because, well, I don't really have a reason. I just don't want to go that low. Oh, okay. We just went like super low on this eye. Okay. Now for my inner corner, I'm just going to grab that same color we used on our lid with a teeny little brush. This one is also by BH Comics. And just popping it on the inner corner. Like I basically just said. Again, I feel like for Valentine's Day, like your inner corner has to be highlighted. Go as hard or as light-handed, hard-handed as you want to go, but you already know how I like my inner corner. With my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black, just gonna apply mascara on my lower lashes. Try your hardest not to touch your skin. I am like the worst culprit at touching my skin when I do my mascara on my lower lashes, but just just try that's all I can ask for so now these are the finished eyes the top is very neutral and if you want to keep it neutral just don't do the crazy neon pink on the bottom but I love it now let's contour okay so now I'm gonna bronze my skin and drop a brush I'm using the MAC 135 brush and my bronzer which I can't find here it is and this is MAC Refine Golden Bronzer. This is the Alarm Aquatics packaging, but 
it's a permanent item and I'm just gonna bronze along like the temples and a little bit on my cheeks. Now to contour, I'm gonna use my Mega Peak Rounded Blush Brush and my favorite contour palette. I know it's been a while since I've used this palette, but this is a Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I think it's the best contour palette ever. I'm taking medium contour and I'm gonna contour. And then I'm just gonna take a whole crap ton of that and just go underneath my jaw because my 48 chins on Valentine's Day, that's not a good look. Now I'm gonna contour my nose using light contour. You always wanna go with something relatively light for your nose. And I'm just gonna use this flat brush by BH Cosmetics and just go down the sides at first. Next for blush, I think it's only right that we use the Love Flush blushes by Too Faced. So I'm going to take the color How Deep Is Your Love, which is my song, by the way. And I'm going to use the Morphe E4 brush. You guys heard me talk about it in my favorite video. And basically, I'm just going to blush up my cheeks like you've never seen somebody blush up their cheeks before. I feel like if I don't put enough blush or like the right color of blush, I guess. I look literally crazy, so I feel like this one is a really, really nice one for my skin tone. For highlight, I'm using this new one that I got. This one is by NARS, and this is a dual intensity blush from the Stephen Klein collection in the color Vengeful, and I really wanna use this blush. Like, this blush looks like it's gonna give me so much life. But for now, I'm just going to use the highlight and I'm going to try out this Morphe M310 brush, which I tried out before and I don't think that I liked it, but I keep hearing a whole bunch of people talking about it, like Nikki Tutorials, this is her favorite brush. So, I'm just going to try it out. I usually don't really like fan brushes because I feel like they don't apply enough product like that to me, it's not enough product. I think I still prefer my M501. Yes, okay. Now we are talking. Now we are talking. Definitely still prefer this brush. For sure, this is like the god of the highlighting brushes. On a cute as well. Really excessively on the cute as well. On the nose. Now for lips, I wanted to do somewhat of like a brownie, taupey nude type of color. So I'm using Taurus Lippy Pencil by ColourPop, the best lip pencil in the whole entire world. And I'm just gonna line my lips and fill them in a little. Like, I just feel like on my skin, like, oof, this color is perfect. And then for my lipstick, I'm using this NYX Lip Suede in the color Sandstorm. And I love these lipsticks, by the way, guys. I do plan on doing a swatch video soon-ish. But I love them. That's all you need to know. So that is it for this look guys, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Don't forget to follow Alyssa Marie Artistry as well on Instagram, I'll leave it down below. Like I said, she is so talented and I promise you guys, you will not regret it. And I think that's all I have to say, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!